to my candid world and before we get into today's video I just have a few things to say um, a few disclaimers I guess so this story time video and possible future story time videos depending on the feedback on this one will be around my school and a lot of the weird stuff that went on inside um, I would say I'm not throwing shots at anybody, but my school is very shady, so I will potentially be throwing shots. Majority of what's happened, slash happening, slash weird stuff, um, happened in middle school, and I'm currently in high school, so you know, if I have trouble recollecting exact details, then I apologize in advance. Also, a quick reminder that my book, my poetry book, My Candid World, or uh, Words, is still available on Amazon with the link in the description box below. Please check it out. Um, it's been about a month since I released it, and the feedback and the support has been amazing, and I just like to keep that momentum going. So share the book with anyone you know that likes poetry that might like it. And with that, I'll just be wrapping up my few little words before this. Oh yeah, and thank you to my friends, um, specifically Kaylole and Maya, for recommending me doing, recommending that I do some story time videos on like the school and what happened when we were all in like the same advisory together. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the video. This story, um, which might have to be split into two parts, takes place in the seventh grade. Now this was, I believe, the first year. Actually, was this, in, no, this took place in eighth grade, I believe. Around the earliest, first year part of earth grade, earth grade, wow, eighth grade. Um, so I had already been there for seventh grade. This is my second grade there. So, you know, I was known and my new advisory because the advisory usually changes every year um except for when you're in high school when you keep the same advisory definitely not happy about that but my i was in advisory with a different mix of people you had me and my main group of friends who i'll go into more detail about them later so it was me maya who you've seen on this channel already kaylole and liana now this was four members of our like six member group the other two were in an advisory together and we all usually sat on the same table together not really significant for this video but future ones just to know and our advisory had about 20 ish a little bit above 20 ish people which was like one of the largest advisories in the grade because it's a pretty small school and we had two advisors rose and maria now before i go any further into this story you guys need to know that this advisory was very chaotic it was very hectic the chemistry in it was it very it varied a lot now as long as i was with my friend and i wasn't being bothered i was fine but a lot of the time there was a clash between the advisors and the advisory members because a lot of the stuff that were being decided on in the school made absolutely no sense to us and we weren't receiving any kind of information and we were just not pleased at all and around this time i was still running my business and you know students um were purchasing from me now if you don't know my business iridescent by chelsea hay link also in the description box below i was selling bedazzled keychains bedazzled calculators which i still am and then i was selling pop sockets with my logo on it which <clears throat> Are not available anymore they sold out so if you want to get one of those calculators and keychains now is definitely the time um, and if students bought them online you know I would just be like okay I'll bring it to you at school so this was going on for a little while you know the students would buy it on the store online I'd come to school give them a cute little bag and be like you know thank you for supporting me thank you for the purchase and then I believe this happened around like Christmas time when we were doing one of those like secret Santa things where you would like everyone would say oh you know I would like to get this and this and your secret Santa would buy you that gift and it would be revealed later 
So a lot of the people in my advisory had put one of my items like as I want this for like Secret Santa. So I was like, you know, prepping all the orders and getting them all ready at home. And on the day of the Secret Santa, I was like giving people, you know, like here's the gift that you bought, here's the gift that you bought. And it's not like I was collecting money at the school. I was not really collecting like money at the school. It was very rare that I did this. And if so, it wasn't like, you know, just clean up, oh, give me your money. No, most people paid online. So it wasn't like I was just taking money in the school. And then this happened around the end of the Secret Santa. People were like revealing their gifts and you know, a lot of people bought stuff for me. I was like, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. And people were like making it as a little joke, like, oh my gosh, half the gifts are from Chelsea's business. And then around, I'd say, I think it was after that Secret Santa, like after advisory finished and we were heading down to lunch or whatever, my two advisors came up to me and they're like, oh, you know, Chelsea, um, about your business, you know, um, do you like, do people like place their orders in school or whatever? And I was like, um, no, they place their orders outside of school. And they're like, okay, well, like, do you like collect money in school? And I was like, no, no, not really. Very rarely that I ever do. Most people buy online and pay online because that's how I run my business. And they're like, oh, well, you know, I think it's really amazing that you're like running a business this young and it's very like creative and inspiring. But you know, the administration has said that we can't really allow you to, you know, like be selling stuff in the school and like collecting money and stuff. It's like against some rules and guidelines. And I was like, what? Like I'm literally just selling stuff outside of school and bringing the stuff to people inside of school. Just like if they were to ask someone to buy them candy or something outside of the school and then bring it to them inside the school, how come that now that more people are buying my stuff, there's suddenly a problem? So, you know, I was not very happy. I was like, wow, okay, so I, I can't sell my stuff anymore. That's not fair. And they were like, you know, we're sorry. You know, it's just what the administration said. And I was just, I just walked away and I went to lunch. And I told, you know, my friends about it at the lunch table. My other two friends were there, Nadia and Zoe. And I was like, our, you know, my advisors just let me know that the school says I can't sell my products anymore at the school. And they were like, bruh. And I was like, it's real convenient how, you know, when a young black girl is trying to run a business and people are actually supporting her, you know, there's suddenly a problem. But if, you know, people are selling their different little nitbits and items to their classmates, then there's absolutely no problem. And it, it was really striking to me how there were so many other issues happening in the school at this time that they felt the specific need to stop me from making money and from succeeding. And I was really unhappy with that. Like, there are so many different stuff you guys could be dealing with. So many racial issues, complaints teachers etc etc but you took the time out to like have a whole discussion and meeting and tell my advisors to relay this message and i definitely was not happy because i was in like me and my friends were um like interacting with the administration a lot there were like racist teachers and stuff that were happening in the school and we were having meetings and saying you know stuff needs to be done so they were aware of me and they were aware of my presence and for them to like go around the back way and be like oh well you can't really sell your stuff here is really telling of the school especially since they're fine with bake sales and you know selling different items as long as it in some way helps and you know aids the school you know like funding something for uh, sports or something but if you're there yourself trying to have a business and stuff not much support as you clearly saw and there's definitely more to this story that once you guys hear about it it was shocking to me because later in high school there's suddenly this whole big support of like entrepreneurship and business and one of the most outrageous things happened where I was actually reached out to for something. And if you guys wanna hear about it, you're gonna to have to leave a like on this video and comment down below if you wanna hear the tea about how my school suddenly changed their mind about business and entrepreneurship in a very convenient time. So please like the um, video, comment down below. If I see that there's enough support going on, I'll drop a part to this video. 
share this video with all your friends and family especially if you go to my school and you guys are ready to hear the tea because there was a lot of thing th things that i did not disclose and there's definitely a lot more shenanigans that happened in advisory that i would like to tell you guys so many stories i can't wait to tell about the racist advisory member and how it was pretty hushed up when it was dealt with the racist teachers at my school and you guys definitely need to know that at a predominantly white school there's a lot of hidden or like i don't know overt racism that goes on and it definitely needs to be addressed and there's a lot of change that needs to be happen that needs to happen and i'm glad with all these you know black at insert school instagram accounts that people are finally getting held accountable but there's definitely a lot more and a lot other you know topics and issues that need to be addressed so you know as i said like the video comment down below share it and friendly reminder check out my book i'll catch you guys in the next video